Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So in the previous video, we have configured Open 5GS and JV Ransom. In this video, I will explain how you can make it work in the same virtual machine and what would be the various connections and IP addresses that we are going to configure. So let me draw, forgive me for my writing and it's very difficult to draw on this one. So this is our virtual machine. All right, so suppose this is our virtual machine and inside this virtual machine, we have to configure different interfaces or different functions, right? So the first the first function, which is critical to any of the 5, 5G network is, is the AMF, all right? So with open 5Js, we have this AMFD, all right? So AMFD is the daemon or the service that will run the AMF. All our IP address would be at the subnet 127.0.0.0 slash 24 which means only the last IP address would change and this AMFD IP would be dot five. All right. We have the UELAN SIM which will have two functions. One is the G node B and the other one is the UE. This will emulate the RRC connection and this will emulate the NGAP. So this NGAP and this is your AMFD. So then we have SMF and then we have UPFT. So these are the initial interfaces that we are interested in. Subnet is 127.0.0.0.24. AMFD IP is addresses dot five. So for SMF, we will be using dot four and all the services will run on different interfaces. For UPF, we are going to use dot seven Similarly, some of the other IP addresses, dot 10 is for NRF, dot 11 is for AUSF for the authentication function, dot 12 is for UDM, and dot 20 is for UDR. So these are some of the key IP addresses that we should remember. Now, we have to make sure that whenever we configure a G node B in the UE ransom, it should be pointing to dot 5 and the SCTP port is 38412, which would carry the transport for the NGAP. So our connectivity from G node B to AMFT would be on 38412 port. And this is on SCTP. And on top and on top of the SCTP, we will have NGAP. So let us make this working first and then we will take care of the rest of the part. All right, so let's see how the AMF and the other functions are configured. So as I mentioned, we would be only checking AMF and the UE sim. Let us have the SCTP connection app and then we will configure the ne uh, next protocol. So if we check 5GS AMF the status, you can see there are some logs here and this is the YAML file which can be used for configuration. You can vi it and I will use sudo vi or let me just do one thing. I will just go to let's see open 5gs and we have all these YAML files. All right. If we open this YAML file, I can just provide you the IP address. So if I grab an I So you can see there are these IP addresses configured and uh, some of them are commented. So you can just forget them. And if I show you the IP address for AMF, which should be the first one, you will see this is the IP address 127.0.0.5. So let us check the configuration for AMF now. Yeah, well. So you will see the configuration which is uncommented and this part is the configuration that we have. So the SBI address is 127.0.0.5. So this service based interface is four times seven. This means all the communication for the rest of the function in the core network will happen on this port on this IP address. Now for NGAP, which is the communication from the G node beside will happen on this IP address and the port by default is 38412, which is the port for SCTB. So this is the configuration. You can see the network name is open5gs and AMF name is open5gs AMF zero. Now let's go to the other tab 
and inside config we have open 5gs g.b and open 5gs uv.html so let me just first copy this into another file and i will just write it as gnodeb.yaml and let me just name it at gnodeb1 and this is uv1 right so i've created two files gnodeb1 and uv.1 let me just use gedit and I will open the other one ue1.jml so I have created I have opened two files gnodeb1 and ue1 and let me just open the amf config as well okay so this is the amf config in a new window and this is the gnobi config so let us compare the gnobi and the amf config so if we go down we have the amf sbi 127.0.0.5 and port is uh, 4 times 7 and gap id is 127.0.0.5 so this ngap ip amf ip is 127.0.0.5 this is gnobi's local ip address for end to interface so this is dot one right you can change it to any IP address in this subnet. I will let me take it 100. JTP IP is 100. I can make it 200 if you want. And the link IP, denote this local IP address for link submission. I will just make it 101. All right. So I've just made all these three IP different for my troubleshooting purpose. If it is same, it's difficult to troubleshoot. Now here I have AMF config address is 127.0.5 which is correct. The port is 38412. So this is the NGAP IP and you won't see this port here because it's part of the SCTP. So it's it should not be uh, mentioned here but it will work on 3842 only. Then in the slices we have SST as one and that's correct. And SS, S and SSAI SST is one. So this configuration matches. So this means if I try to run Gnode P, it should work. Mm. Okay. So I will just take the capture on the loopback interface and I can just filter IP address 127.0.0.5. Oh, maybe let me take 5 here. So this communication, if I do and our build and our g node b c g node b one dot yaml so you can see we have the communication here so the source is 127.0.0.100 which i've configured here and gapip and it's going to 0 0.0.5 with the init so this is the sctp connection init init act cookie ego and cookie act that's means the sctp connection is or the SCTP association is set now. Then we have the ng setup request, which has been acknowledged with the ngp setup response. And then we have the acknowledge again. Then the connection is up and you can see the heartbeat, heartbeat going on. So this ng protocol successful. And if I check the details of your pseudo service open 5GS MFT status you can see it shows that gnb n2 accepted and number of gnodeb is now connected is one so you have the gnodeb connected with the ngap correct now the question is how we can capture the rrc or you can connect to the gnodeb so let us check that in the next video in case you enjoyed this part of the video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.